Yo, what's up? It's Miguel Hoy, and this is it. Look, we've been pushing through for the last six weeks, and this last week has been pretty tough on us in particular, all right? This is the final day of Hoy Pro Champion, and we're going to go ahead and tune in, take care of our bodies, and give ourselves a nice, good stretch to take out any kinks that we've accumulated over the week, and just to show our bodies some love and some appreciation for all the hard work that we have put in. So let's get ready to go ahead and stretch it out. We have a lot of good exercises we're going to go through today to take good care of that body. So get a quick sip, big old bright juicy smile on your face, let's get down to business. So we're bringing it down to the floor. We're going to start off with cat cows. Inhale up. Exhale down. Just allow your body to relax. We're rewarding ourselves here for hard work put in. Just flow with that breath. Nice. From here, let's go ahead and open up into child's pose. We're going to add a twist. So hips back, and we're going to twist looking under our armpit on one side, then up and over towards the other side. Get a good stretch through those lats, through those shoulders, through our chest. Open up through those hips as well. A little bit of obliques in there. I'm enjoying this. One more over. Nice. From here, we're going to go for a side stretch. So, bring both arms over towards the left, hips are back and towards the right. Sinking there. Well, I'm tight on this side. I'm not going to force it. Just relax and breathe. Deep on the exhale. Let's go to the other side. Both hands to the center. Right arm over. Left arm follow. Tips are back and towards the left. Just melt into the pose. Nice. We're going to go for a reverse shoulder stretch. So, left arm is out. Right palm is down. We're going to raise the right leg up and over. Chest and shoulders into that mat, head down, slide that leg, if you feel so inclined. Inhale, relax. Exhale and slightly push off of that right hand, going deeper into the stretch. Palms are laying flat on both hands. Come out of nice and gracefully. We're going to go right to the other side. So, right arms out. Inhale, left leg up and over. Get situated. Slide it down if you can. That's nice. Few more seconds. Come out of that nice and slowly. From here, we're gonna go for knee pull-ins, left leg. So go ahead and hook and clasp those fingers together. Bring that left knee in. Give me some good compression here. You can rotate through the ankle as well. Halfway through, we're gonna open up nice and wide. Out of direction on those ankles if you're joining me there. Grab that knee, pull it in, and let's open up towards the left. Cactus arms on the right. Nice flat back on the mat. Right leg is extended all the way through, and open up with your breath. 
Great. From here, we're going to take that right knee, I mean, that left knee, and bring it over towards the right. Right hand's on the top. We're going to look over towards our left for our isosupine stretch. And let's get some winds in here through the shoulders. So we're going to rotate up all the way through and over. This is extra credit, but I love it the way it opens up through the lats, through the shoulders and chest. And back, too. Lord have mercy. Come on. Clockwork swing action going. Nice. All right. So we're going to turn up with Brussels stretch. Keep the right hand where it is. We're going to reach the left hand down to grab onto that right heel. And the knee is going to come down. We're going to twist up. So bring that shoulder back. On the right, still keeping our knee secure with the left hand, with the left hand, the right hand on the left knee. Sorry, I'm tangled up. You know how it gets. Great quad stretch, psoas stretch, hip stretch, back, you name it. Release nice and slowly. And we're going to do those same three on the other side. So. Left leg is all the way straight. We're going to clasp those fingers together on the right. Pull it in. I'm definitely feeling some of that workout throughout the week. And we're going to take care of ourselves here, all right? A few seconds, we're going to open up. Let's go ahead and take that right hand and open up. Left hand is in cactus. Feet are flex. Pull it open. Left leg is straight and breathe. Just relax and let nobody know it's okay to go into this range of motion. Great. We're going to bring that right leg over towards the left. Left hand's on top of that right knee. We're going to look over towards our right. And once we get settled, join me with the winding arms. So rotate up and over. Really extend and reach those arms up. And let's bring it over. Nice. Rotating through that shoulder, reaching through those lats, calming through that spine. One more over. And down. Awesome. Wrestle time. So reach down with that right arm. You can bring your chest up a bit to get some, you know, range there, and then lean it back. Right shoulder's going back. Left hand is securing that right knee. I think I got it all right that time. And then we're pulling up on that back foot. Knee straight down. Hips forward. Relax through that torso. So give me four breaths. I know we're tangled up. It's hard to breathe, especially if you breathe through your diaphragm. Release nice and slowly. We're going to go for a modified sun flow just to wiggle everything out. So hands on your shoulders, bring it down. Inhale up. Exhale back. Forward. And down. Sink your breath with your movement, or vice versa, your movement with your breath. Nice. Let's go for rocking ham raises. Left leg's in front, and we're going to come with our hands in front here. We're going to reach it up, come forward. I'm still modifying on that ingrowing hair. I know it's been a while, right? So I'm going to come far, too far on this side to make sure I'm safe there, but dig in. If you can come forward more, go ahead. Hips to back, 
and forward. Nice, feels great. Great, we're gonna go for world's best stretch. So left leg is forward, right palm is down, bring it up, reach through. World's best stretch and one of my favorite. Really get those hips forward there. We're nice and open from the movements we've done already. Arms straight up, bring that shoulder blade back. Chest is up. It's the definition of open right here. Rock in there to get deeper and release. All right, we're gonna go for winding cat cow. So let's bring the hips down, heads up, rotate it. Took that tailbone, bring that chest down, put that belly down, rather. Let's go in the other direction. Nice little neck stretch as well. Oh, my back loves this. All right, we're going for rocking hand raises on the right. So right leg is in front. I'm going to bring it back and forward. I can go a little deeper on this side because I don't have that ingrown hair issue on my knee which causes pain. So get more range here. Modify as needed. Oh, that feels amazing. I have to find a spot right there. If you find a spot, you can hang out for a little while. World's best stretch on the right. Let's bring it forward, arm is up. Same as the other side, let's go nice and deep. There we go. Reaching up, up, up through those fingertips. Bring it up. Strong through those shoulders here. But don't just focus on what you can see. Get those hips nice and forward as well. After all that work we put in this week, we got to take care of ourselves here, all right? This is a great opportunity to go deep. And down. All right, let's go for some foot pedals. I know my ankles could use some help. So bring those hips up. Meet me in a downward dog. And let's drive the left knee forward. Right heels back. And then we're going to switch. Was that a voice crack? I'm 39 years old. Let's go, other direction. Breathe it out. In forward. Oh, I need this. Just roll the ankle forward, heels back, and switch. It's like a stair climber. <laughs> Nice. Let's go pigeon with the left foot. You know the drill. Find what's comfortable for you. And we're not forcing anything today. We're accepting where we are. And we're relaxing so we can go a little bit farther. Body's gonna love this. It's nothing that, that feeling we get after we finish with Shavasana. We know we completed a successful week and we received that fist bump. All right, let's go ahead and stretch to our sides, both hands forward. We're going towards the right first, both hands over towards the right. We're gonna switch halfway through. Side stretch here. Just breathe it out. Oh, 
Let's walk them to the other side. This is my favorite because it really gets into the glutes. Both hands over towards our left. Digging that heel into the ground a bit, really feeling it in our piriformis and gluteus medius here. On the left. Nice. Wrap it on in. We're going to go right back to foot pedals and go to the other side. So bring it up and let's go. Strong through that core. Might be able to go a little bit deeper than you did on the previous side. If not, it's all good. We're putting in that work right now. We've improved so much over the past six weeks. So you know the importance of just putting in those reps, planting those seeds. And we will we'll reap the harvest eventually, okay? Just getting our daily practice and keeping it just that practice. Nice. Right legs forward. Let's go into pigeon on the right. Ooh, who's tight? On their right, me. All right, so walking it down, acknowledging where I'm at. I'm gonna loosen up a little bit more before I go farther. Oh, there we go, it ain't take that long. All right, let's go for that side stretch. Both arms are forward. Going right over towards the left with both sides. Bring it on down. Say hello to those obliques and lats. Hips getting some love. Abductors getting some love. Chest getting some love. Stretch it out. All right, let's show those glutes some love. Walk it over towards the right. Got a 90-90 that leg a little bit more here. Hello, mama. There we go. Sometimes I like to wrap my ribs a little bit over um, my hips here. Just get a little bit deeper. Bring it on in. All right, from here, we're just going to come to a kneeling position. And we're going to go for scapular raises. So we're going to drop our shoulder blades down and lift them up, all right? So it's not the same as a cat cow. We're gonna just lay those shoulder blades flat and then squeeze it up. Hands stay in place. There we go, and down. There's a posture builder right here. Let them depress. And pressing through. Slow and controlled. Nice. Let's go for a little bit more action there. Kneeling shoulder twist. So we're just going to roll down. Bring it up and over. Dip it down. Come on. Like that. One more to keep it even. And up. All right, while we're in this position, let's go for frog pose. Knees are wide, 90 90 on each side. You know you love it. Bring it back. Hello, hips. This is something that I feel personally, which is my hip instability, I should be hitting daily. All right, so just a little reminder for myself as you're going through these stretches. Just keep in mind, hey, look, you can throw some of these in in the middle of the day. Um, you can just get up. You can just practice. If you can, make a nice little dojo or a nice area in your house where you have a mat just propped up. You can go lay down at any time and practice some of these moves. You know, keep yourself young. Keep yourself mobile. We're going to hang out here some more. And we're going to go for winding frog pose. I know, I know, I know. Practice makes progress. Hips going to go up over and down, all right? 
Let this movement our back move through those hips, nice and slowly. Keep the 90-90 on those feet. Don't let them tuck in. Halfway through, we're going to switch up the direction. Let's go. Other way. You can flex through that core and get a little bit of hip movement there. You might not even be able to see my movement, but trust me, it's there, and I feel every bit of it. All right, so if you're not a hula dancer, it's all good. All right, let's bring it forward, going for windshield wipers. <sighs> Hips are forward, feet over. It's my favorite way to kind of wiggle out of that last one and counter that last, you know, frog pose. Bring it over and down. Chest up. Now, do me a favor, we're going to bring our feet close together, try to squeeze them together. You're going to really feel that deep stretch in your hips, and then bring it back. All right, I'm going to grab a strap here. You can use your hand, and we're just going to take that left foot up. Pull it in halfway through. We're going to open up this a little bit more, all right? Don't force the steel. And we're going to open up, if you can, just wrap it around. Bring it over. And breathe. Ooh, tight today. I understand we've been working. Good, bring it in. We're going right to the other side. It's a little bit easier to switch it up. I just slide feet in there, switch the feet out, flex them, bring it up. Oh, it feels so great to have made it this far in this challenge. We're going to begin winding down with the next few exercises and starting to count down to our final fist bump. Let's open it up and bring it over. It's kind of bittersweet, right? Finishing up a challenge. Ah, but it's definitely sweet. I'm going to wrap it around. Let's get my lats in there a little bit more. Ooh, yes. And bring it down. All right, let's go for a nice glute stretch. Left heel on top of the right knee. Exhale through. Clasp those fingers. Pull the right knee in. Push the left knee forward. Relax. And I like to add my rocks here. If you've never tried it, it's fun. You're going to feel yourself open up through the glutes just a little bit more as you do so. It gives you an added benefit of stretching through your back, giving yourself a nice little back massage. Ah. It's a great feeling. Bring it down nice and safely. Let's go to the other side. Right heel on top of the left knee. Reach through. Clasp your fingers. And rock left and right. Nice. Bring those shoulder blades back as well. Woo! Felt the spot. Foot shift a little bit. Now I want that spot back. This count is a self massage. All right? Which counts as self care. Bring it down. From here, we're going for supine twist. Both knees up. We're going to bring our knees over towards the right so we can stretch to our left. Right hand on top of that left knee. Look over towards. What is this? Our left. If you want to go be fancy, you can extend those legs out instead of bent knees.
Relax it out. Let's go to the other side. Both knees up. Exhale over. Settle into it. And look over. Relax those ribs down. Just relax. Awesome. From here, we're going for happy baby. Reach up and through. Grab those feet. Pull it down. Open up those book, those pages to the book. So both bookends. And we're just going to rock left and right as we're pulling those knees down. Breathe it out. Oh, yeah. All right, from here, we're going to hug in those knees, left leg only. So bring it in, extend that right leg out, pulling that left knee in. <sighs> Feet are flexed. Give me some good compression, so nice, good pull in. Bring that right knee in, hug it up. Extend that left leg out. Ooh. Glutes love me for this. Breathe it out. All right, bring both knees in temporarily, just so we can extend them out into Shavasana. Ah, open up, relax, take in everything here, or just let it go. <clears throat> Breathe naturally, and I'll catch you at the beep.
and bring it up. Give me that fist bump and boom! Fist bump, congratulations on completing Hoi Pro Champion at Season 1. We just pushed through for 42 days, six weeks complete, and we made it to this point. I stated on day one, you're going to blink your eye, and we're going to be at the end of week six. And look, we made it all the way through. All right, so do yourself a favor. First of all, you took those before pictures on day one. Take that final day picture, all right? Document your success in this journey. I want to see those pictures, so you can email me at results, that's R-E-S, U-L-T-S at hoypro.com if you want to put in any story or any message and just let me know if you feel comfortable with me sharing that as well in that as well, all right? Because I'd love to share your stories. You can help inspire others to come in and crush it as well. Also, make sure you look in the description. You're going to find a special link to your Hoy Pro Champion Season 1 certificate. Print that bad boy out, put the date on it, and hang it on your wall so you can see your accomplishments right in front of your face. So the next time you feel that you can doubt yourself as far as your journey, say, look, I got this right here. I know what I've accomplished. I'm accomplished. I know that I'm a champion, and you absolutely crushed it, all right? So thank you all so much um, for bringing it with this. One thing I recommend after doing this six weeks of going hard, take one week and deload. Go for walks, do some stretches, do some mobility. Give your body some time to rest as we come out of this periodization before going back in to either Hoi Pro Champion Season 2, if it's already out at the time you're doing this, or repeating Hoi Pro Champion or going into another challenge. With that being said, thank you all so much for coming in every single day, for commenting, for pushing each other, for motivating me, and for bringing it, and for being tr a true champion. Until we come back, as always, let's make sure we're carrying on with our habits, healthy things in our heart, and uh, healthy things in our stomach, in our, in our diet, healthy things in our heart and our relationships, and healthy things in our mind, mental health over every single thing else. Let's keep on pushing it. Until next time, it's Miguel Hoy. Take care and peace out.